All right, guys, I'm so excited. Welcome back to the Sleep Well Journey podcast. We have a super special guest and friend of mine today. But to start, my name is Dr. Callie Hale. And I'm Dr. Kyle Hale. And I am super excited to introduce my friend, Amy Williams. Hello. Welcome to the Sleep Well Journey podcast. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, we have so much to talk about, guys. But I just want you to take a second to introduce yourself and go from there. So my name is Amy Williams, a.k.a. Amy Migdalia on Instagram. Uh, too many Amy Williams on Instagram, so I chose <laughs> But the you're one. the Amy Williams. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Um, I am a wife and a mom first and a nutritional therapy practitioner. So I help people restore their health through three integral steps, eating, environment, and extras, and really teach people the foundations of health to help Restore their body back to optimal function. That's pretty much me in a nutshell. (laughs) Easy, straightforward. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it, but um, yeah, that's what I do. Not what I thought I would do. Yeah, interesting. Um, Well, we'll have to get into that. Yeah, we'll have to get into that for sure. But yeah, that's that's me. Are you just gonna say extras and not like? Let us know. Well, because we we'll probably get into her well, backstory. So I don't know. Eating, I, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eating is pretty straightforward, right? What mm-hmm. you put in your body, your nutrition, your environment would be like, you know, what are you putting in, on, around your body? What are you inhaling? Sure. So think home care products, yeah. beauty products, mm-hmm. body lotions, deodorants, colognes, candles. all the things. Candles, yes. Why did you yes. point at me when you said body lotion? Do you think I, <laughs> I look dried out? Or well, <laughs> I was about to say cologne. Yes, you exactly. Know, so I'm listing out the things for the men. because I buy him healthy stuff, don't worry. <laughs> you know, the women are pretty in tune with this stuff when I say like, oh, home care products. But guys are like, what are you talking about? Yeah, true, mm-hmm. totally. And yeah. I'm like, deodorant, body buy washes, lotions, yes. you know, things that guys would do. Because I feel like the ladies are always trying to get the guys mm-hmm. on board, especially true. in that step. Callie wanted me to color my hair because it made her feel old. Oh my gosh, that that is so not true anymore. That. So this is uh, just we'll just start. We'll just like, kick it off. I'm like, you want a little rogue in there to hide the grays? And... No, I like oh the grays. Oh my gosh, yes. me too. I Fun do fact, too now. I think, I've never colored my hair. Oh wow, oh. ever. Wow. And I don't think Why I. Why are you ever staring will. at me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to answer your question, yes. extras. <laughs> <laughs> is I write this down. supplements and <coughs> detox practices. So Amazing. those are the things that we do in support of the other things. But I like to take the first two first, right? So we take a food first approach and then we clean up the environment okay. because most of the time we can mitigate or eliminate symptoms before we ever have to have somebody purchase a supplement, right? That's amazing. We want to make health. No, that is huge what you just said. I hope you guys heard that because yes. I think that is such a missing link with some of the people that are going in and getting advice and practitioners and they leave with a thousand dollars worth of supplements, yes. mm-hmm. but they have high fructose corn syrup and red right. dye and all They're their food every Chick-fil-A. day. Right. Yep. And I'm like, okay, maybe we can not take 20 supplements. And, and I have had so many clients that when they start, I have like, Hey, what are you taking? And it's right. a laundry list of supplements. And right. I'm like, well, why are you taking this? Why are you taking that? Why are you taking this? Why are you taking that? And, and I'm like, well, you taking this for this reason, but the reason why you have that is because you're eating place. this. Right. 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 So I want to save our clients and course students money, I right? Yes. Health does not have to be as expensive as people think it's it is, right? True. It's it's a lot more accessible than people mm-hmm. think it is. So I really right. try to teach people the foundations of health. And most of the time, it does not cost you anything extra. Yeah, that's incredible. Like eating real whole food. Yeah. You can find real whole food at Walmart. Yeah. It, it might not be absolutely. organic, but guess what? The conventional right. form is still better than eating McDonald's 100%. Um, or chicken nuggets or French fries. Yeah. And it's cheaper too. And it's hard if you weren't, if you didn't grow up in an ingredients household. Well, we, I did we joke about that because I did. Callie yeah. will I leave mean, I, and say, and I'll be like, hey, I'm like, we have did, plenty of food. What, what, like, should, what should I do for dinner? I'm just going to order something. And she goes, there's food in the fridge. And my husband says the same thing. He's like, but there's no prepared food. I, I, I told her, I was like, no, honey, there's ingredients in there. Yeah. There's not food. There's yeah. welcome. I want you to live a long time. Yeah. Like, my husband does the yes. same thing. He's like, there's no food in the house. I'm like, no, there's a lot of food in the house. He's like, all right, let me, let me qualify that. There's no food prepared. I'm like, okay, well then prepare some food. Oh my gosh. I know. I know. But I mean, he just grew up not their cooking no. was not a thing like yeah and i mean he can make a mean bowl of cereal let me tell oh, you that's like, my husband every <laughs> night bowl of cereal <laughs> but <laughs> you better believe it's love bird it is i saw <laughs> and yeah. not cheerios absolutely see that tends to be the favorite Look, they're heart shaped so they have to be good <laughs> oh my okay. gosh here we go let's not yeah. get into that but guys she is just such a huge wealth of knowledge and even you know we've done an instagram live actually last week together yeah and her knowledge of 
dentistry and the heart getting there the hard way by being told she needed things that were not necessary and all of that just kind of sends you down the rabbit hole and you guys got to follow her on social media because her content is fantastic and you'll get a lot of answers to your questions and i think you know part of the unpacking that you probably have to do is just telling somebody to read a label because they probably have never read one yeah i i have posted several stories in the grocery store, taking people around, showing them labels. And even like some of my clients and course students who have gone through my program are still like, wait, what? I needed to look on the back of the can of the organic tomato sauce. Right. I thought because it was organic, there was just tomatoes in there. Yeah. And I'm like, no. no. Like I just did this last week and people were mind blown. Yes. You, what was it? Sour cream or well, cream the, cheese? Yeah, what, we what? did like sour cream and dairy one day. And then a few days later, I was back at the store and I was like showing like diced tomatoes and canned beans. And you yes. think, okay, there's just diced tomatoes, but they add other stuff to it. Yeah, of course. And when you see the organic label in the front, you think, oh, that's good, right? Right. So with the sour cream, I showed like an organic brand of sour cream and they had some other additives and preservatives to it. But then like a brand like Daisy, yes. which is not yeah, organic, the, yeah. the ingredient was just cream. Right. So it's like, if I had to pick between the two, I'd go with, with the, Daisy. the, the right. Daisy, exactly, yeah. because it's just right. one ingredient, yeah. the whole yeah. food. Yeah. So a lot of people, there's a misconception. They think, well, in order to be healthy, you have to get everything organic, you know? And I'm like, right. no, just read your labels. Absolutely. Like real whole food, even in, in organic form, is going to be better than right. all the processed crap. Right, for sure. Yeah. That, that, I mean, I just think the, the generational gap or even just the – the uh, education gap and understanding what to avoid. And I usually tell my patients like uh, we avoid high fructose corn syrup. Like it's, cocaine of course and my I, kids read the labels of the back of yeah. everything we're not perfect we're not saying and we're perfect no one's and perfect and no. they will roast anyone yeah. who gives and, them high fructose <laughs> corn syrup and so they'll be like uh did you see this has high fructose corn yeah. syrup and they're like i worked on that for like six hours it has high fructose corn syrup i can't have it <laughs> yeah yeah no exactly <laughs> like, sorry and i was i always am checking it and i was just absolutely floored and i will call out this brand today but uh blue bell ice cream has high fructose corn syrup in it yeah like why and they're made here why and can't i'm we like just use ice regular cream sugar. Is salt cream sugar, sugar the ice end. maybe some vanilla right right and i was just like oh my gosh these poor kids like because the parents thinking oh i'm gonna you know give you a treat it's on it's your birthday or whatever and the chemicals that are being put into them and well, it, we just have to pay attention here's the other thing that people don't realize because i hear this all the time well, I had it when I was a kid oh, and I turned out fine. And yes. I'm like, listen, guys, let me just tell you, different. it's so different. Yeah. Fun fact, McDonald's French fries, when they first started, were potatoes, beef tallow, and salt. <gasps> You're kidding. Oh my gosh, so they were cooked chills. in animal oh fat, which is gosh, phenomenal for right. you. Now, if you look it's at the ingredients oil, right? of their French fries, it's oh. not just vegetable oil. There's all kinds of flavorings that they have to use to try and match the flavor mm. profile of the beef tallow. Mm. So instead of just using beef out, exactly, oh but it's more God. expensive, right? So you have to get cheaper. But I tell people, I push back. I'm like, listen, the food that we had when we were kids is completely different right. than now. So right. like, I don't feed my kids fast food. The fast right. food I had growing up was drastically different than the fast Absolutely food that's here. No. Even the snacks, you look mm-hmm. at like a bag of potato chips, like Ruffles back in the day was just like the potatoes, yes, the salt so and the oil. And now oh yeah, they add all the stuff. Right. And I'm like, I push back on that argument because it's not the same food. Exactly. And I would argue that today it's not even food. It's mm-hmm. food product. Mm-hmm. And it's different overseas. Absolutely. What they're allowed to use in their products Absolutely. too. Which the that standards is, are that's different. That's been heavily on the, on the breaking the internet and social well, media. Well, the, the way that you change that is on the consumer end. 100%. Right? I we wouldn't change that on the it. governmental end. Mm-hmm. You can't regulate people into health. Right. You mm-hmm. educate people into health. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. If you have the education, you I know better, that. you do better. And then if you stop buying it, you force the company's hand to either stop selling it or change. Let's let them go bankrupt so they stop stop trying to make everything so toxic. You do it in the marketplace. Yeah, that's where you hit as a consumer. And you know, linking all of what we're talking to to sleep and just even growth and development. So when we're taking a child suffering from obesity and therefore also sleep apnea, the hard toughness of our diet which is basically gone now for the baby ages. It's all melt in your mouth, applesauce, yogurts, has totally changed the way their jaws develop too. Absolutely. And if we could just get back to real raw foods. I agree. At the two, three year old age. I also think there's some fear around like the choking thing. But if you give a baby a 
beef jerky stick. They're yes, not can, they cannot do. put the whole thing yes. in their mouth. Exactly. So there's actually less risk yes, for choking. There is, yeah. Um, and your swaps were fantastic, by the way. So she released some swaps and then yelled at me for buying them. And I was like, of course I'm going to buy oh, them. Oh, that so was I you? I would have sent yes. it to you. Yeah. Oh, yes. no, those are actually really good. Oh, I created so this good. entire... It was, it's phenomenal, Let guys. me just tell you, a lot of the things that I do are born out of my own necessity. Right. And so before I even got into what I do, my background is actually in law and business. So I have a JD and an MBA. And I thought I was going to be like this high powered corporate attorney. And I'm like, well, the Lord had other plans. Uh He did. Three months after my husband and I got married, I found out I was pregnant with Mm -hmm. our daughter Mm -hmm. while studying for the bar exam. So by the time I found out that I passed, I was already like five months along. Oh my goodness. Um, but my kids are really what kind of, I mean, I was always into health and wellness, but my idea of health and wellness was pretty warped. Yeah. You know, it was like workout, exercise, diet. I went into like fitness competitions after I was done playing college sports. Yeah. Destroyed my metabolism. My gut don't recommend it. (laughs) Um, (laughs) but that was my, my idea of health was how you looked on the outside. And there was, as long as you looked good on the outside, you were healthy. Right. There's so many internal processes that I have clients that look amazing on the outside, but they're suffering on the inside. So you can be unhealthy. Yeah, absolutely. No matter how you look. Um, where was I going with this? Well, oh, we, how I got into it. So then yeah. my kids are one and two and my son sprays bleach in his eye <gasps> as a one year old. And that's what catapulted me into why no, do I have thing. these products yeah. in my home? Mm-hmm. Right. I, I flip the bottle around. I'm freaking out. He's screaming. I'm rinsing his eye out. I'm like, do I call poison control? Right. There's a skull. There's flames. Like oh what gosh, are all yes. these symbols? Yeah. He's wow. going to be blind. Right. right. Like what have, what yeah. have I done? Yeah. And so I told my husband, I'm like, I don't know why we have this in the house. Right. And so I just go down the rabbit hole of like, right. what are the ingredients in bleach? Yeah. And find out it's a carcinogen. I'm like, what am I mm-hmm. doing? Right. Mm-hmm. So then enters all like, all right, I got to find a swap for everything in the house. And I just start going to town. And then after that, I'm like, okay, if I didn't know that these ingredients existed right. in my home, you've already products, done the leg work. I've done right. the leg work. Exactly. What's in our food. Right. So then I started oh doing gosh, the same yeah. thing with food. Right. Well, then my then family members fillings, are like, guys, Oh, what's in the fillings? Yeah, we can have that conversation. But my family members are like, okay, what do I use for this? What do I use for that? What do I use for that? And it's all up here. Of course. I'm like, I need to get this down. So it started out as a resource for clients that has since built itself. I mean, I continually added and added and added. And now it's like, it's over a hundred pages. I call it my healthy swap index. The master is over a hundred pages long and it has every category Mm -hmm. you can think of. So there's a healthy eating section, a healthy home section, a healthy kids section, a healthy supplement brand section, and even a small healthy mom section for Mm -hmm. pregnant and postpartum moms. So like every single product that you can think of, I have a swap for it. And it was just really easy to navigate it because the pediatric one um, that I got I was like, I'm going to start with, I need a better macaroni and cheese option. And there's one on there. (laughs) Yes. And, and then I was like, our daughter is so picky. There's no way, but you know what? I'm going to make it. And that's what's dinner. And you eat it and you like it or you don't. Oh, it's her favorite. See? And I was like, even when I tasted it, I was like, I could taste the more protein in it. And it was a little bit earthier. And I was like, she's just like her dad's. She's a little more picky in the, Mm. and she asks for it all the time. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I would have never known about that brand. Like, I don't know. These websites are just so like unique to their niche. But that's what I do. Absolutely. Like I'm. I'm in the grocery store, like scavenging around, (laughs) looking at brands all the time. And because of the nature of my husband's job, we're all over the country. So I'm in different regional and local grocery stores where I can see different brands that people might not know about. Sure. So we just lived, we were in Orange County for a year and I was able to like, I have a running list on my phone. So when we do an annual update to the index, I have new brands to add to it. Awesome. Oh, good. So I'm always keeping a running list because- that's half the battle, right? Yes. People are like, I don't have time to research and find right. new brands. So or I've already the done the legwork for you. <laughs> right. Yeah. And That's a lot amazing. of times, sometimes perfect options don't exist. Right. It's the better option. Sure. Of course. And no one's Absolutely. perfect. To your point earlier, yes. we're like, hey, we're not perfect. What I tell people is like, look, it's look at your daily habits. Yeah. If you are somebody who is daily consuming the additives, the preservatives, the ultra processed foods, oh my gosh, yeah. that's a no. For sure. But if you're somebody who is consuming real whole foods on a regular basis, the occasional ultra processed food with the additives and preservatives is not going to kill you. Exactly. Right. Of course. But what are you doing on a daily basis? Exactly. What are your daily habits? What are your daily routines? What are your daily rhythms? Mm-hmm. That's what's affecting your And health. that's what's going to affect their sleep too. So Absolutely. talking about that, what do you see in the nutrition aspect 
in your clients that are telling you, I don't sleep well, I'm up multiple times per night. And that's number one root cause is blood sugar dysregulation. Wow. 1000%. A classic symptom of blood sugar dysregulation is somebody waking up a few hours after they've fallen asleep. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Well, I can't remember if Steph talked about this or not, but you can edit that part out. (laughs) Um, Blood sugar regulation is super important. It is the cornerstone of metabolic health and metabolic health affects every function in the body. Um, particularly with sleep, whenever you, whenever the sun goes down and you're supposed to get tired, melatonin, that's right. Right. So you have different hormones in the body, right? Mm -hmm. Your sleep hormones are your melatonin and your serotonin. Mm -hmm. So as the sun goes down, those are supposed to increase while cortisol decreases. Well, if you have dysregulated blood sugar, cortisol levels increase when they Mm -hmm. shouldn't. And they do a sleep apnea as well. Correct. So you add that on top of it. Correct. Right. So if I have somebody who's dealing with blood sugar dysregulation and their cortisol levels are peaking in the middle of the night, it's going to naturally wake them up because cortisol is the hormone that is responsible for waking you up when the sun goes up, right? So when the sun goes up, cortisol levels should naturally rise. That's what wakes you up and melatonin and serotonin Mm -hmm. go down. And the cortisol is going to spike the insulin as well. Correct. Correct. So all of that's intertwined. If you can learn to balance your blood sugar, you'll notice better sleep. What do you think about those? Um, Love them. <laughs> we were just talking Triceps. about the other day. No. <laughs> Constant <laughs> glucose monitors, a.k.a. Yes. Oh. CGMs. Yes. The data the is education. phenomenal. I feel like we should both do it for fun. Yes. Yeah. Now, for fun. here's the thing. Well, I it mean, is fun. Like, if, you, if you are dealing with signs and symptoms of blood sugar dysregulation, I highly recommend people track their blood yeah. sugar. Mm-hmm. Okay. The cost-effective way to do that would be to get, you know, a $30 monitor at Walgreens okay. where you prick your finger fasting one hour post-meal, two hour post-meal. So you have to prick your finger essentially seven times throughout the day to get all the data that you need. What has made that easier now, so historically people who had type 1 diabetes you have to wear a constant right. glucose monitor right. because anytime blood sugar got too low, you die. I mean, exactly. Yeah. Right. And they have a pump and all right. the things, but now there are amazing companies out there that you don't have to have type one diabetes to order a CGM monitor. Mm-hmm. And essentially what it does is you put it on the back of your <laughs> tricep. It has a little needle. It doesn't hurt. You poke it in there and you don't have to do anything. It you sound monitors. Like a there. Little needle. <laughs> little needle. Hurt. It's not going to hurt. No, it's good. doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> um, uh, on their app, you see, you know, their levels. I, I have clients that have used it for a short amount of times. I'm even working with a client right now and he has worn it for months. Wow. And so I have his login and I see everything. Wow, that's awesome. So, like, even today, I texted him. I'm like, what did you do yesterday? That's so funny. Why do you have five <laughs> blood sugar spikes? Wow. And he had some Girl Scout cookies. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Should have just had them all at once. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way his blood sugar looked, I mean, it was, but here's the thing. That's the, that's the crazy part about blood sugar is once you have a spike, you're yeah. setting yourself away. up from erratic yeah. blood sugar the yeah. rest of the day wow. or through See, the night so and it will important. affect your sleep. Yeah. So what you do during the day, it, nutrition wise will affect your sleep later on in the night. Right. So, Classic American diet. When you wake up, what are you having for breakfast? Toast, cereal, coffee. Like, oh, coffee, yeah, but I do Toast, no sugar. Toast, <laughs> cereal, donuts. Yeah, but even oh, coffee baby. without <laughs> sugar yeah. still because has an bean. effect on blood sugar. Right. Yeah, the yeah, caffeine yeah. Mm-hmm. spikes those cortisol levels. And most of the time, people are taking their coffee out, running out the door. It's on an empty stomach. Yeah, oh, for sure. Of course. Yeah, of course so, it is. <laughs> so what are you doing? Right there, you're I'm you're setting yourself that, up for blood sugar dysregulation for the yeah. rest of the day. I Cortisol's increasing, insulin gets released, right? So once insulin gets released, now the body goes into emergency mode. It's like, hey, glucose is monitored in a very, very tight range. So once mm-hmm. it goes outside of those bounds, your body's like, all right, we need to release insulin in order to get it back down. But most of the time what ends up happening is the body releases so much insulin, it overshoots and now blood sugar's too low. So what do you feel? Oh, I'm tired, I'm fatigued, I need right. carbs, oh. right? You crave the sweets, you Absolutely. crave the carbs, but that's your body's... N- your body needs to do that, right? Because it needs right, to yeah. get it back up quickly. Mm. So then you grab for, you know, a bar or mm. some more coffee. Mm-hmm. Now we get the levels back up, but then they go too high. Yeah. So then the body has to do the same thing over and over mm-hmm. again. And now you're on this crazy roller coaster sure. when really you should be on this little baby. I just think it would be so ride. telling. I'm definitely going to do it. I've, I've just decided. Right you now, have but, to do it. Yeah. Not just for that, but also everybody's metabolic response is different to certain right. foods. Right. So, you eating a sweet potato might have a drastically different response than her eating a sweet potato, right? Because mm. everybody is a bio individual. Right. So I like doing it for my clients who can afford it because they are expensive. Yeah. You have to pay 
a monthly fee and okay. all of that. It's, for the app it's pretty the pricey, and right? Stuff. Okay. So I tell people like, if you can just do it for a month, sure. So you have the data because you're a month is a good picture you're of like a lot. what you're going to be eating in a sure. normal, yeah, a normal time. Yeah. Um, and you'll see like, hey, maybe my body doesn't do well when I eat rice, or right. maybe my body has a really entirely different glucose response to this particular food. So you can sure. really hone in on your diet for your body yeah. and your glucose levels. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I think just being able to, if I eat something that I think is healthy for me yes. and watching what happens is I think going to be the real indicator. Yes. I had a girlfriend who was like the sweet potato queen. Yeah. And she's like, oh, it's a real whole food. And she did a constant glucose monitor for like three weeks. Totally throwing and, her. Oh, she was like, it wow. literally caused like an 80 to 90 point spike after yeah. eating it, which yeah. you don't want to see more than a 30 point increase. Okay, Good to know. So, yeah. um, yeah, it's it's great data if you can afford it. If mm-hmm. not, you can get a simple monitor at Walgreens and sure. just prick your finger each yeah. time. Sounds painful. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually not super painful. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just I need the convenience. For me, I would need the little convenience. Pressure. You're paying yeah. for the convenience. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And oh, the, wow. And something else that's really neat is um, what I see in my clients is exercise. Exercise can spike glucose as well. Yeah. Um, what I've seen in clients is people who exercise in a fasted state have a higher glucose spike than those who eat at least a little bit of protein or fat before okay. the workout. I try to get an egg in before I go, but let's well, hey, that's, yeah. that's better than nothing. So, okay. um, or I avocado. think that that's really, like egg and avocado really neat to see if people <laughs> who do cold plunges or sauna that affects oh, glucose. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. So yeah. you'll see glucose spikes after sauna or cold plunges because it is stress on the body. Mm-hmm. Um, and so for women, I'm like, listen, I know all these biohacking things are really trendy and cool right now. Right. However, if you're already under an immense amount of stress from your diet, from your environment, from your career, I'm not adding on the stress of cold plunging and sauna usage. Like we need to mitigate this. What about blood pressure with those things? Blood pressure. I mean, everything affects blood pressure. (laughs) Alcohol (laughs) consumption affects blood pressure. Stress affects blood pressure. Medication affects blood pressure. Supplements affect affect right. blood pressure stress affects blood pressure what's your go-to supplement for hypertension if somebody's not mm. on prescription meds so normally <laughs> what i've been able to do is get people's diets and beverage consumption under control and then they don't need a supplement okay so 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 and i've got sugar oh yeah sugar is the big ultra, cause for sugar hypertension. ultra processed foods anytime somebody's on a real whole food diet they're not going to have blood pressure issues okay but also Mouth breathing. Oh, of course. Yeah. Like yeah. in the non sleep realm. The, yeah. I got yeah, the like stuff. The you got oral, their nutrition. The like, oral <laughs> stuff, too. I mean, it's, right. we discussed that with our clients, sure, too. Sure. And how that affects blood pressure. Yeah, absolutely. But I had a client who was on blood pressure medication, and after six to seven months of work, we were able to get him off the blood yeah, pressure fantastic. medication. Right. And that's the goal, right? Because mm-hmm. there's side effects with those medications, yep. mm-hmm. contraindications. Oh, sure. We see it all the take time. Supplements. Right. When you're on blood pressure medication, a contraindication is potassium. Yeah. So you. We can't tell you to take the element packet. Right. The electrolyte packet has potassium right. in it. Exactly. And those contraindicate each other. So, right, right. right. You know, there's. And your hands there's, are kind of tied when you're trying to help. Exactly. Yep. So, again, That's I'm incredible. not a supplement first practitioner. Sure. I'm a food first practitioner. Yeah. What can we do nutritionally and environmentally before we go down taking another mm-hmm. pill? It's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, it can be done. For um, sure. And we've seen it time and time again with people's yeah. blood work, too cholesterol numbers, blood, pr- everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. And real, thyroid, it's, thyroid, it's, it's like it's so simple. Just eat real whole food. <laughs> but food. you have to know how to cook. People are like, <laughs> sorry, I, I can't. So what do I do for cholesterol? So what do I do for PCOS? What do I do for autoimmune right. conditions? Like, like eat get your diet clean. Real whole food. Right. That's the first recommendation we give to every single client and yeah. course student. Yeah. Eat real whole food from the farm to the fork. Right. So like the best way that I can describe it is well, I've been saying sweet potatoes. We'll use a sweet potato as an example. <laughs> when you go in the grocery store. This, if the sweet potato still looks the exact same as it did when it was pulled from the ground, you're good. Yeah. But if it's now a cracker, oh, right, there's, right, no, right. there's no cracker trees. <laughs> there's no sweet potato cracker bushes. You don't pull a cracker out of the ground. But I can turn it into a cracker, can't I? Bake it if I want to and thinly slice I, it? I no, wouldn't. Just kidding. Okay, I yeah. wouldn't. Yeah, because you kill the nutrients when you do that. Not just that. Anytime. So there's a another account that I follow from a glucose standpoint, right? Sure, sure. Um, 
anytime you take a whole food ingredient and then you turn it into something else, so you've refined it or turned it into a flour, right. you have a higher oh, okay. glucose response to okay, that. Sure. So that will impact your glucose higher than if you just ate the food in its real whole form. Okay. No different than with fruit, right? Right. So people are like, oh, I, I juiced this fruit. Well, sure. you're just consuming the fructose from the fruit. Exactly. Now you're really not, sugar is like... Right. It's right. just sugar at yeah. that point. But if you right. eat a whole strawberry instead of strawberry juice... You're going to have a drastically different glucose yeah. response to that Amazing. food. So totally. I wouldn't turn the sweet potato into a cracker if I'm trying to stick to a whole food sure. from the farm to the fourth diet. Bake it. So I tell people, they're like, well, what Warm about bread? Up. I'm like, do you pull bread out of a tree? Do you pull it out of a bush? No. When you want to get I back to not. the basics <laughs> and really restore the body, right. just eat the food that the Lord intended and created for you. Right. From the farm to the fork, it should look the exact same from the point of harvesting as it does on your plate. Yeah. Farm to fork. Yeah. That's Incredible. the best way I can describe it. Right. right. I'm not saying that you can't have a crack, like, you know, of crackers course. and chips I have, have their time. We love Siete. You do so, racist. Uh, I, I'm fine. I think I'll figure it out. I wish he was joking. No, I'm kidding. He's joking. <laughs> I used to be so bad. I am. You, I am oh my a thousand, gosh, you are alive because yes. Listen, I and your wife. My husband used like, to eat one pound bags of Skittles. Wow. So like, oh, I think you, you were talking change. about that the other night. Yeah, like, we were. We you were. So no, if, when, when, when I got shipped off to college, just, not shipped off, but I shipped college, off. You right. went to boarding school. <laughs> no, his parents were tired of it. <laughs> oh, I was the oldest, and so I I left. And when I came back, uh, like four weeks later, my mom had already turned my room into her quilt room, and I didn't even have a bed. You know, your mom is going to watch this, right? Oh yeah, she knows it. That's so funny. Don't worry, my parents say the same thing. <laughs> and so, uh, but I got I got sent to school with like a, one of those uh, Sam's Club things of like um, Reese's that was made for resale. Oh no! So it was like meant to sit on a table <laughs> no, at, a, at a baseball game and sell them for two dollars a piece. Or I know like exactly that. what you're talking about. And so I ate all those dadgum things playing video games one day with a two liter of root beer. And I, I wasn't there. If to I, spare and, him and, and, you his... know, that's many years ago. And I don't, you know, I'm, I'm sure it made me feel awful for several days, but I don't recall because you're, you you don't recall. Young and dumb, yeah. Well, because symptoms are old, common like, though, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They're not normal, but they're common. So you, he was just you, very you write athletic it off. too. Yeah. So he didn't. Yeah. Well, and, and so, but I know if I did that now, like, cause oh I, my gosh. I, so several years ago, Callie was on me to do blood work and all the annoying things that's that are good. probably going to make me live a longer life, but. Oh, he's at 180. Yep. And, uh, and so I did keto and I did keto with my father-in-law <laughs> and this is like, I've never been on a diet my entire life. Yeah. He's a six, four and 200 pounds. This whole yeah, life. Right. Like, it's, so, it's a classic example of yes. I look fine on the outside. Exactly. So why do I need to do anything differently? Blood pressure. Well, everything. I'm, I'm competitive too. <laughs> oh, and so what, what am I, what am I going to do with my father? I'm going to beat him. At the keto right. diet. Duh. And he's like, I can't get, I can barely get to like the second from the, the, uh, Second from the They're lightest, on the keto you know, yeah, 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 yeah. To and check I'm your like, keto. Yes. mine's black all the time. <laughs> and he's like, "What?" And I was like, I haven't dad. even looked at a carb in a month." Okay. <laughs> well, vegetables are carbohydrates. So. I, I was avoiding every. I was eating cheese and meat. And he had the whole like flu it. response to that too. Because oh, he like, detoxed, like, yeah, what yeah, said, were you thinking? That is the ultimate man flu, guys. The yeah, keto man the, flu. Well, that I literally was like, I, it's not keto. It's not food related. I'm literally sick. And she made me a bowl of like just butter noodles, real quick, one bite. Maybe 90 seconds later, I'm totally back to normal. And, he was and then like, did you crash after? Wow. Uh, it, was a, it was a reality check, though. Because like, yeah, he really thought yeah. he had the flu. Like, he physically thought he had the yeah, flu. And I'm yeah. like, you don't so have the flu. You I, just I do keto, and I lose, um, I don't know, like 15 or 20 pounds in two months. And, and then it, you go back to how you're eating. Well, I didn't go back to how I was eating because I couldn't. It absolutely would destroy yeah, my stomach. I, I, I wouldn't be able to leave better. the house. Like, it was like, so I, w I, I definitely am closer to where I used to be compared yeah. to immediately after that because it. I mean, my, my my body would just not let me do it. Right. Right. Like, well, it's your body old, telling baby. It's, it, you know, <laughs> your body's rejecting it. Yeah, right? it is. Well, they, yeah. Everyone's like, hey, do you want cake? Because it's a birthday party at the office, no. and I'll have a slice right. of cake. And I take one bite, and I feel like dog crap. Of course. I, I was mean, like so happy. I'm like, it's not real food. We, it's not. It, yeah. it, it put me like in lethargy. Like, it was Absolutely. the opposite. Absolutely. Your blood, do. oh, your glucose so. was like. So high and then yeah. so low. <laughs> your yeah. your body's like, what did you just do? And he did it cold turkey. I tell people all the time, like, external symptoms are. Um, a result of what's going mm -hmm. on on the Absolutely inside. It is, yeah. So I, I'm still pretty much like that. It was like a nice little reset for me. Yeah. I could not do keto. Like I was walking down the hallway. Yeah. I was falling into the wall. My balance oh, no. was terrible. No, no, and no, I'd be, no, like, no. I'd be like about to work on a patient. I'm like, man, I need to go like 
like a egg or something. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my blood sugar up just a little bit. It's not so, like an egg. Oh my gosh. Well, that's what, that's why I, I had I had hard boiled eggs with salt and pepper, and that's what that was, I do those. I had to make eggs. him some Wait, sort of on, snack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to talk about this. You only had two eggs, and that was your meal. And then Callie bought me this like big old bag of single serving cheese that was made of like Havarti and Gouda, and that, and that was it. And then summer something. sausage, and that's all I had. You, okay, so, oh, like, I mean, so aside from the keto, you were just malnourished. Yes. <laughs> I mean, because, it's huge. Well, I'm right. like, you can't. So can we talk about this? Because yes, this yes, is something I does. see all the time. Help even him. people who are yes. not on keto. You are so protein deficient. Yeah. Absolutely. Each egg is like six grams of protein. It's oh, nothing for so you. I looked like it up one day and I was like, that's protein. nothing. I'm like, and I want clients and students, men and women alike, to shoot for 0.8 grams to one gram per pound of body weight. Oh, wow. So how much do you weigh right now? 222. Are you getting anywhere from 200 to 220 grams of protein each day? I have day? no idea oh how, how much. I can't wait to do that. You have to do that. You will yeah. feel insanely better when you increase your protein So I've been intake. working out a lot. I have some, I have some personal um, weightlifting goals this okay. year with my trainer. Oh, well, you better increase that protein. I know. And, and, I know. I, I oh, my gosh. I have been getting super hungry. Like in the You're last not three weeks, enough. it's been it's been the worst. It, well, like, if we, in in the snacking on this stuff, that's not. No, he's well, not I like he was. I wouldn't snack. I snack. Yeah, I wouldn't snack. He's lying. I, I don't, no, no, I don't. He you might not be, my, but you don't. But he, right okay, now. no, in all fairness, you will just come home and and be upset that you didn't eat lunch, and you're looking at me, and I'm like, I haven't you even been near meals? you. Well, I did. <laughs> Uh uh-uh. uh, no, you're not too exactly. Busy that's to what I'm saying. You he have to. Pre- eat. And I told him I would prepare it. We had this is Stephanie Hilda. You can take a 20 minute break. Yes. You have that many goals and you're skipping meals? And you meals? can't go to well, Wendy's, I mean, babe. No. I'm I, sorry. I work. <laughs> no. I, okay. Thank you. I'm hearing a I'm lot done. of excuses over here saying. from the left. <laughs> but hey, you want to hit the thousand pound club? You yeah. got to listen to what she's saying. Yeah. That's what do you want to do? we have a phenomenal trainer. The thousand pound we both club. lift weights. What is yeah. that? It's a uh, bench press, squat, and deadlift, and cumulatively, it will be three thousand, uh, one thousand pounds. Oh, I was about to say you're about to deadlift a thousand pounds. No, 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 that would be insane. No, no. no. I was just but now that you said it on the podcast, yeah. like now you have to do it by no. December thirty first. No. Your protein intake has to yeah. What does this need to be drastically? Per day, two hundred eight to one gram of protein okay. per pound of body weight. More steak. And I, and women especially, yeah. we under eat more than the men. Yeah. Um, I even tested this on myself. My third, I'm a, over a year out postpartum now. But this postpartum, I was like, I'm really going to focus on my protein intake. And sure. I like double and tripled my protein intake. I had no postpartum hair loss. Wow. No postpartum depression. Like Incredible. no hair thinning, no nail thinning, like none of that. Because wow. women are already so nutrient depleted yeah. during pregnancy oh gosh, I that once so you bad. enter into postpartum at a depleted state and then you're not eating enough while you're breastfeeding. I mean, right. mm-hmm. when things like hair fall out, nails thinning, those are things that the body, are, they're not necessities, right? right? Those are the first things to go before now major organs are like telling you, right. hey, we need some help here. Yes. So I increased big time and i did not have any of that that's amazing and i have heard from women because i've talked about this on instagram like hey postpartum moms really focus on your protein intake during postpartum right and they feel drastically different that's incredible the need for snacking goes down the need for all kinds of other things go down yeah um and you're satiated protein is one of those macronutrients that's so Mm -hmm. satiating it's going to make you feel full it's going to elongate Mm -hmm. your blood sugar like it doesn't have It's not going to impact your blood sugar. If you eat a piece of steak, you're not getting a glucose spike. Mm -hmm. So not only did we cut the sugar cold turkey, you malnourished yourself for like 60 days. (laughs) Yeah, that's too bad you didn't know Amy. That's probably why you felt worse. Right, right, right. Because not only did you like cut out so many different food food groups, but you were also under eating. Yeah. Well, I my my guidance on it was. Uh, so oh, I, I'm going stop to blame it! Her. You don't blame it's me. Yeah. yeah, I was we're, we're I was living a nice her. little. I was I was doing my own oh, thing. Oh, you were and all of a okay. Like, my dad's going to do keto. You should too. Well, so. she was probably just. Tr- it's I was stressed about place. your blood pressure. You're trying so to let's get just healthy. say it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, yeah. I think it, it's difficult <laughs> sometimes too, just in the the prepping stage and um, with how busy we are. Because as a race car driver, which our son does also, um, karting it's weekends and we're gone. And then it's like rushing back into your client, ba- to our patient base and so the busyness. So yes. Well, good luck. Um, chill with on that. what? <laughs> chill on life. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, st- maybe Dude, we th- could th- we could really this is spend chilling. some time. Racing is chilling. Yeah, but, but I mean, here, here's the thing: your body doesn't see it as chilling. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, no, I, I sleep. So this is a stress yeah. issue, right? We see this all the time too, and this is the hardest thing to change with clients: mm-hmm. is your body the chronic stress that we deal with on a daily mm-hmm. basis, whether it's work or just being go 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 from one place to the other. The body perceives that no differently than if you were getting attacked by a bear. So if you're in this constant fight or flight of Mm -hmm. chronic stress Mm -hmm. and your body thinks it's getting attacked by a bear every single day, day in and day out, you're going to struggle with chronic inflammation. And you're going to make bad choices with foods and whatever too. Well, and then also you'll, Chronic inflammation leads to all kinds of different precursors to different diseases. Mm-hmm. So, and, I mean, most sides of our family has dealt with weight issues and blood yep. sugar issues, diabetes on both Stress sides, hypertension on both sides. That too. It does. I have some clients that will eat a perfect meal. I had one client, she wore a constant glucose monitor for a month and she was like, I don't understand what's going on today. I ate perfectly. And I said, How's work and are you stressed? She's like, we actually have a huge deadline. I just got out of a stressful meeting and it caused a glucose spike Mm -hmm. after she got out of the Mm -hmm. meeting. Oh, that would be interesting. Yes. I would do it for that. Yes. Yes. Well, I think you and I just both do it for a couple months and watch. Like, I want to learn more about it too. And I think just as I age too. Absolutely. Like, it's important. So, you got to build in some days and times for rest. Oh, the body needs rest. I'm serious. It does. Here's the other thing. We want to talk about the foundations of health. Digestion is a foundational health component. Why is digestion a foundational health component? Because you could have the perfect meal, but if you are not properly absorbing and converting those nutrients, who cares what you ate? So if digestion is impaired, you're not even eat. You're not even like absorbing the amazing, beautiful nutrients that you've taken the time to prepare, right? And cook Mm -hmm. because digestion is impaired. Well, what's something that impairs digestion from the jump? Right. Stress. Yeah. Your nervous system operates in two modes, parasympathetic and, and sympathetic. sympathetic. Sympathetic is your stress state. It's right. fight or flight. If you're in a sympathetic dominant mode before you eat your meal, your digestion is going to be impaired. You're not right. going to absorb the nutrients. Yeah. You have to be in a parasympathetic process because digestion is a parasympathetic process. Totally. Totally. So you have to be in rest and digest mode. <laughs> you have to rest in order for your body to function properly. I know. And then, and I mean, y'all are both busy. You leave busy are, lives. Yeah, There's things are. that you're building and growing and all that. But that's where you have to be really intentional about for sure. planning in those rest days each mm-hmm. week. Definitely. I mean, God rested after we created Sunday. the world. So <laughs> if he needed rest, we all need right, like After I get done doing rest. something <laughs> equivalent, I'll take a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. For, thank you, you will never, you will never. But no, truly like a Sabbath is so important to me. Like, yeah. yeah. Taking yeah. one day to just <clears throat> do nothing. Yeah. And, and I think okay. the dentists that are listening to this episode too, I think some of that small business owner, um, burnout is of, real. Oh, that's a whole different episode. We should. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I like to share with Dennis this kind of revelation that I had, and that's so I'm 38. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you 38. Don't remember already? Uh, so Glucose. <laughs> Look, I got I got hand, foot, and mouth when I turned 35, and I told people I was 34 for a whole another year. <laughs> I got really okay, sick on both his my, my, my oh, oldest so son and I, so he got it, then I got it. Callie was pregnant with our youngest. Yeah, and so, so I, she, away. I, like, I didn't, I didn't see her for like a week and a half because <laughs> it was the worst. That, I, it was the that was worst. the worst thing that's ever happened to my me. My daughter I never had it. it. My son got it and he gave it to me oh, when he was two. Man. I, I could barely walk. Yeah. I could barely walk. I didn't have a choice. Moms don't yeah. have a choice. You <laughs> have to keep going. Oh, no. She just would go, I'm leaving the four and five. Oh, yeah, no. I couldn't leave. My husband's working. So I'm like, Dawn of the Dead coming after us. It was. Me. Oh my gosh. Taking oh care of two gosh. kids at the time of Dawn of the Dead. Well, what, what, what was I talking about? Oh, um, and so when I, I got adult school when I was 29, and then we we bought our first practice, and then we bought six more, and then we started other businesses. Yeah. And all throughout dental school and all throughout those years, really up until maybe a couple years ago, I always looked back and tried to reflect on the previous year, the accomplishments, because I'm a, I'm a big believer in, you know, I think uh, happiness is a choice. And I think, you know, um, Comparison is the theft of joy. Absolutely. And so I, I look back and I say, what were the thing, what are the things I should be proud of, and what are the things that I shouldn't be? Where are ways that I can prove? And it's time to celebrate the wins. But I kept looking back and kept saying, God, you're such an idiot. Like you're such a moron. Like what? Like, and I, I would have these moments. Like you're so like all these amateur moves. Like and of course, like I need to accept. And this is what I did. I needed to accept that I was growing. Absolutely. And I was getting progress, better, not perfection. Right. Because right. I think if I ever looked back and thought, man, that was my best year ever. 
it's never going to get any better. Well, that's the same. That's also like, well, we're just, we're just changing and there's different seasons of life. And so for the dentists that are starting their practice, like there are so many or opening or buying one. I mean, it's like, it comes at you so fast yeah. and for years, not for like the first it's six months, list. because what happens yeah. is you'll lose a, a key employee that knew how to do things that you never knew were being done in the practice. Yeah. And that'll happen over and over, whether it's a hygienist or office manager, treatment coordinator, or an, an associate dentist or, um, and so just get ready for that ride. But I think it's also one of the most fun things I've ever done was to yeah. solve all those problems all the time. And yeah. that's why I only practice one day a week is because I, I enjoy helping patients. One, I would, uh, I'm really bad about just giving stuff away because I just want to do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't care if they have any money. Let's just get started. And, you know, which is, you know, not an ad to come, you know, just hang out here. I, I'm booked <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, all right? all but, of a sudden, yeah. I'm hey, booked out. It does cost money to run a business. You got to exactly. turn a profit. I want that part just to be really fun for me. Like that's yeah. my vacation mode. Like yeah. on Thursdays, I'm usually not doing much work. I'm usually like just hanging out with the other dentists here. Um, but that's my like rest day. Everything else is like everything's high demand and there's a lot of yeah. meetings and there's a lot of going on. The problems are very different from what they used to be, but they're also, um, they're way more, they're more, more, more is involved, yeah. right? It's not, yeah. it's not like someone quit or we have someone sick today. We need temp coverage. And so, um, just to, uh, kind of speaking to that part, um, like I, and I, and I do struggle with this currently and that's like, how do I not keep getting myself into a mess and not like a mess that I regret getting, I, I'm doing all this on purpose and, yeah. and I'm not going to stop. Right. So what are, what are some things that I could do to, you know, like if I know I'm going to have a stressful month, like I just text my team today, we're a hundred days away from doing our first meeting in San Diego. And so like, if I know that the probably in 60 days, it's going to be a really stressful 40. What are some things that I can do to prepare for stress that is inevitable? That's a great question. Yeah. It differs from person to person. Yeah. But the word that you use there is prepare, mm -hmm. right? So from a nutrition standpoint, if you were my client, I would say, okay, we're going to do meal delivery service. that's already like pre-packaged portion meals. We're going to get that off your hands. Or some of my clients have, um, they're not like, it's not like they have personal chefs, but they've hired somebody to cook their meals sure. for them for the month. Right. right? Oh, nice. So like one of my clients is a high level executive. He just opened a second office in another city. And that's something that he's employing currently. So he has a lady who drops off his meals for him every week. So we're like, okay, we know that dinner is covered Monday through Saturday. Nice. So we start, awesome. pre we start preparing for those things. Um, if I know he's going out of town, for example, I say, go ahead and make your reservations and send me the menus. And I create little mini menus for my clients. So they already know what they're allowed to pick when they're out to eat. So that's, that's another amazing. stress that's off their plate. Sure, sure. Awesome. So things like that to prepare, like, Hey, this <clears> month, <throat> Kyle and Callie, we're not going to be able to cook. How do we get around that? Right. Meal delivery services. Totally. That's how you get around it from a nutrition standpoint. And then from an extra standpoint, you know, maybe if you know you're going to be really stressed out this month with work, then on the weekends for that particular month, chill. Yeah. Don't plan. Don't like add in more Racist. travel, <laughs> personal travel <laughs> on the weekends. Exactly. Because you know. know this is about to be stressful. So I need these two days to really reset and recharge. That's and important. then when the stressful days are over, now we can resume back. Yeah. Now we go back she is to cooking. 100 right. So I look at my schedule and I'm like, oh look, there's a free weekend. We can do something. <laughs> That's no, see, literally. Would, yeah. My brother-in-law's like that. Um, but I push back on that. I'm yeah. like, when you are somebody who's really busy, career-wise, and you have a free we, we weekend, take so the busy. time to chill. Yeah. Chill. My other my client has this same exact problem. <laughs> And his wife loves to travel. I adore them. They're like yeah. two of my very favorite oh. people. But I'm like, you need weekends where yeah. you don't do it's anything. So true. And that's it's been so the, rare for us. That's the it, biggest struggle right. for him. Yeah. But when he actually does it, oh, his health is so much better. So much better. I mean, and I have, I've told him before, like, if you, somebody tells me, because I love to cook, that is yeah. like my escape. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. like, yeah, will make him whatever. Find the things that make you tick and right. like, relieve stress. Yes, I love it. Stress mitigating. I mean, that looks yeah. different for everybody. Reading a book, taking a bath, mm -hmm. going on a walk, getting right. out in the sun. Yeah. Cooking. It's Sorry. just, it's just less, 
you know, now with, with our just commitments and the kids and activities and all that stuff. But I think having prepared, I used to buy factor five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so whatever the, the healthy version of something like that is for you so that you have it and you can heat it up. Like for him, it exactly. has to be convenience because exactly. he's not going to, he's my husband and I have done that in really busy seasons of life. We yeah. move so much right. mm-hmm. that I'm like, okay, we're in a different city. I don't even have pots and pans. Right. So I will just order well, yes. uh, do a subscription and it just, they get delivered right. every week. Yep. And maybe we do that for a month or two months. And then when right. we're back in our normal routine, mm-hmm. then it's back to the cooking and Absolutely. back in the normal rhythms. Absolutely. But like, here's a way for me to still have real whole food and it's already prepared. All I have to do is warm it up. Right. Yeah. Oh, this has been fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> like, There's easy I things you can do. So and then important. just pre-planning like where, yeah. if you're going to go out to eat, like mm-hmm. I like to plan for that stuff. Right. So if I know I'm going to be in San Diego, yeah. I'm going to go to like Nectarine Grove because they have oh, Kyle, great write it down. options there. <laughs> <laughs> Nectarine Grove, babe. Yes. Oh. So I'm going to look up restaurants that have Farm better. Farm table oh, and yes, wholesome. Yes, exactly. Yeah, sure. In Denver? What about Denver? <laughs> I don't have anything in Denver. <laughs> no, it's not that there. great. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I think there's probably some good options there. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't know until you look. Right. So like I would research that stuff. Hey, I'm going here. Like we have a team retreat that's coming up in April um, in Charleston. So like I've already begun researching restaurants yes, that like good. I would want to go to that would yeah. have good whole food options. It's not to say that you can't have fun when you go of out course. to eat too, but like I don't want to get there and then oh gosh, I don't know where to go. And there's yes, the subway, absolutely, yeah, or the Chick Fil A. You know, like <laughs> I, I know, no, I know. Like I want to. Well, the amount of protein you're going to have to start finding a way to eat. Yeah, yeah I don't even know how much protein's in anything. So I don't know how to get 200. You know, I'm working on making this little protein cheat sheet. That oh, kind sweet. Of like I'll buy it. Shows you, <laughs> oh, you don't have to buy it. I'm not going to put it up for sale. Okay, I think it's going to okay. be a resource for our okay. clients and course students. So oh, I'll just gosh, send it so to funny. you. Okay. But like, like, for example, one egg, six grams of protein. Right. Or, yeah. you know, one six ounce chicken breast, 40 grams of protein. Just because oh, okay. I kind of already have that. Yes. In my mind, but again, it's I need to put my brain on paper. Right. But right, I right. think that would be helpful because I get that same question from people. It's like, okay, great. I need to get one like gram of protein per pound of like, body weight. Well, right. I ate a chicken breast. How many grams of protein is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Awesome. I'll create it. I'm excited. Yeah. I'll just These are just so I'm, motivating. I, now I feel like I divulge all that. You give me like your worried for me eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, like getting sick. Yes. Yes. Oh my <laughs> From a gosh. keto diet. Yes. Oh my Years ago. It years was a ago, long time ago. He had bad, very, you know, very bad But habits. I did win. How so. do you eat now? Um. So most, uh, I'm really busy during the week in terms of like, usually like back to back meetings or you, sometimes I it's 3.45 yeah. and Callie texts me, hey, did you eat can lunch? you pick up the kids or can you pick up Benton from workout? And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 4 o'clock. Yeah, and, and which I'm means really he hasn't hungry. Yeah. <laughs> which means he hasn't eaten. Thing, yeah, that's yeah. a big thing. I've got to get him something that he can bring to work. super busy, lunch right. is the hardest meal for them. Because yeah. they're like, oh, I had back-to-back meetings or right. I just, I had work calls or I had yes. this, that, and the other. And I get on to them. I'm like, you cannot skip meals, especially yeah. if I'm telling yeah. you to not snack. Well, in like six months, for Six to nine months, I've really just been hitting barbecue really hard. So, <laughs> oh like, my god! I, I, I'll uh, and we're really close to Rudy's, so I'll just pop over. To I Rudy's. mean, you'll get brisket. Yeah, but they're still right? you, adding sugar and sauces. Oh and yeah, there's all, sauce. Well, I don't know no, that you put. Do you put any sauce on it? I thought you the, were just the, getting. I thought you the, were the, <laughs> the Rudy sauce. That's what I put. Of course, on. Yeah, he puts the sauce on it. It's yeah. Rudy's. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's so. barbecue. Nobody eats dry barbecue. Yeah. yeah. No sauce on it. It's well, sugar. people from New York do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, sorry guys. Yeah. Well, I think just prepping and I know your sleep will be better. And I think tying this all into yeah. all of that, it's just like what we do during the day drastically affects how our evening's going to be. Absolutely. And if you're, if you have sleep apnea, you're in fight or flight constantly already. So imagine yep. what your gut is doing. If your food is it's making you connected. be in fight or flight, this is, it's yeah. All. So really, if you're thinking about the foundations of health, it's first a nutrient dense diet. Okay. Digestion. Yes. Blood sugar regulation. Right. Hydration. Sleep. Oh, water. And yeah. stress. Oh Yeah. Oh man. Yes. All of those. If you want to optimize your health, you've got to optimize each of those. Okay. I got to talk about this stress thing again. Cause this is, this is (laughs) your therapist now. You're his therapist now. Stress is the last one on the list, but honestly, 
that one affects every single one of the ones that I've listed because it depletes things, right? If you're always in stress, it's going to deplete vitamins and minerals Mm -hmm. and affect different systems in the body. But most of the time we can go ahead and optimize those things first. And then we're like, okay, you're doing great there. Now if we're still dealing with a bunch of stress, none of that's going to work. I want to figure out how do you quantify stress? Because that's the thing. You, you got can't. blood sugar. You don't got blood stress. You can't. Well, the yeah. only way that you could quantify it from a glucose standpoint is if you were wearing a monitor. Mm-hmm. And let's say you're like, let's say you had a meal the day before was normal. You weren't super stressed and you had no glucose response to it. And then the next day you had a super stressful work meeting. You ate the exact same thing. And the only difference was the stress. That's a way you could potentially quantify it. Oh. But outside of that. Oh, we're doing a monitor. So just eat That's the same barbecue every day. Oh my gosh. Not <laughs> at that bar. You need to eat a meal that wouldn't cause a glucose yeah. response. So protein, okay. fat, and fiber. Okay. Yes. 10 eggs. No something. 10 eggs. Eat the fat. Stephanie told us eat the fat. That's right. Fat. Which we do know. My mom yeah. is heavy in nutrition too, and that's wonderful. The fat is good. Absolutely. Yeah, you need fat. Okay. You really I feel like I've been starving you. New- <laughs> I, I actually, in the last like four or five <laughs> oh my weeks, gosh. now that the she workouts are getting more intense, you. I've like. You're hungrier. You're I'm re- super yeah. hungry yes. all the time. Because you're not eating like, enough I had protein. I eat right before this, and I still had breakfast, and I feel like breakfast was a snack. I probably eat more protein than you. Oh, I'm sure. No, I'm sure of it. No, I'm sure of it. I will pay my attention now. I really will. I had, I've never heard of that formula and before. when you're out to eat too sometimes yeah. they like to skimp on the protein right my husband and i both order double or triple protein on our amazing. plates amazing so like, and please i just extra. ran out of wow the protein supplement i was taking from well now you gotta tell her which one it is see if she yeah. has an opinion on you it you tell me what it was what you know is what it is. what's the brand oh i Say think it. standard process i'm pretty sure it was what probably standard process that's a brand uh-huh from our chiropractor standard process i've never i'm pretty heard sure it's standard powder. process I need it, to see the we ingredients. We can edit this week in case I'm wrong. Oh, there's a lot of ingredients. <laughs> oh, no. Then get a different one. But I, that, I, was, used, I was supplementing, uh, not supplementing, but um, adding on to meals with that. And so that, I, I, I mean, ran that out is of helpful. If, if I have a client who's struggling to hit their protein goals, mm-hmm. add a protein shake with the meal. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Was it this SP, is standard process complete? Yes. Let was? me see yeah. the ingredients. All right. Look, we're doing a, oh, a, a label review. Here we review. go. Hey, here, here we, we go. go. Is this, y'all, y'all mm-hmm. have the chocolate? I think that's what he had, but yeah, he's out of everything this now. This is a heck no for me. <laughs> oh, Ooh. here you go. <laughs> this is a no. Well, first of all, the serving size only gets you 10 grams of protein. Right. Mm. The protein that I like has at least 20 grams of protein per serving. That's okay. one. Two, I'm just going to start reading the other ingredients. And y'all are <laughs> oh, going to tell go. me oh if you gosh. should be eating Good this. or bad. Yeah. Okay. Maltodextrin. Um. Bad. Correct. Never heard of the maltodextrin bush. There are. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going to be kidding. Come out of a bush or a tree. <laughs> okay. There are three different types of gums. Acacia gum, oh, yeah. guar gum, and xanthan gum. No, it's for consistency. It's not good. No. Okay. Tell me what is choline is so by, tar- by tartrate. What? Choline by tartrate. I'm not sure. Okay. I wouldn't call a person that to their face. That's right. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> And last but not least, natural flavors. No, terrible. What's always. in the natural yeah. flavors? Okay, so what am I buying? Is it on Amazon? <laughs> what does he yeah, need to have? Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Two of my Good. favorite brands, um, Be Well by Kelly. Mm-hmm. Hers is a beef protein isolate. Oh, nice. There's only three ingredients. Okay. Um, and then my friend and colleague, Taylor Dukes, has a bone broth protein powder. Oh, so those are my two favorite ones. Sweet. Uh, at least 20 grams of protein per serving, okay. clean ingredients. Um, and very easily digestible and All right, absorbable. I'll get you the chocolate and you can try it, huh? Yes. Okay. Wow, that's great. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes. Make sure you get the grass-fed one, though, because she has a plant-based one, but I'm not a fan of plant-based protein powders. Grass-fed, this one. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yay, awesome. Oh, my gosh, You'll Amy, this has been yeah, amazing. Well, my, help my, because, uh, like, the last couple of weeks have been just absolutely the worst, and it's because I actually just realized I ran out of that and I stopped using it. And, uh, you're not and you eating don't eat enough protein. Yeah. And then yeah. you're skipping meals on top of it. Yeah. So you're 220 pounds and you're probably getting 50 grams of protein each day. That's a nightmare. It's like two eggs in the morning and then. And then what for dinner? Um, uh, varies. That varies. He'll do yeah. steak. Well, I'll make He'll make How a ribeye. Um, they're big. Okay. I don't. I can't finish I it. I don't eat a lot at one time. Like no, I've never he been never able has. To just, like, you don't have to like eat a lot Like he has to have a time. little, you know. Yeah. But you can still eat foods yes. that are protein packed. Like a ribeye yeah. is right. great, but yeah. there's fat on that too. Sure. So, which is not bad fat, but yeah, if you're eating two eggs, that's 12 grams. And then let's say you're eating a really large ribeye, maybe that's 40 or 50 grams. You're oh, still, wow. you're still coming way under what you should. 
Wait, so I can't uh, wait this to is just a, this is a cry for help. Okay, okay. Guys, oh, if Kyle. You're listening. Um. <laughs> oh, I was like, what is that? Wait, what is what's the no, like, Cal, Callie's been starving me. She's been trying oh to wither gosh. me down. I feed myself. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, the other thing that's tough about protein too is some of the meals that we make, it's hard. So think about like a stir fry, right? Yeah. You're you're not like parsing out the meat. So you don't know how much protein you're getting. Or like right, right, right. pot roast. Yes. Oh my gosh. People definitely. are mainly just eating carrots and potatoes with right. a little bit little of bit shredded of, beef. Right. Mm-hmm. So like sometimes the meals that we're making make it hard for us to reach our protein goal. So yeah. I tell people simplify it. Just choose the protein, choose the fat, choose the form of fiber. Right. Don't make anything elaborate where you're mixing everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, then it's easier to quantify your yeah. protein. Like a chicken breast, a mm-hmm. piece of salmon. Okay. Uh, a ten, pork tenderloin, a right. piece of steak. Like yeah. you can, you can literally see how much you're having. Awesome. You so, just yeah. need. You think you just need to hire her, honey? Yeah, <laughs> so I've I obviously like, been failing. Like, no, I'm serious. I didn't even know this was. Stephanie a thing. said the same thing. This, this, this is her world, and I'm. I'm just. Yeah. I'm playing catch up all the time with her. I, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, we can also run blood work now too. So. Oh sweet. Yeah, we he's had a ton. Be- yeah, he. We have a lot of really good blood work. I mean. But, but what are you doing with that information? I'm showing it to Callie Water like burger. it's a report card. <laughs> I look like showing it to Callie like it's a report I, card. I feel like I'm coming home at the end of the semester, being like, "Hey, well, you want to you want to look at my app?" Like, <laughs> yeah, you want to look at my. No, but I'm, we're going to get those glucose monitors. I, Did you write down which one? Which one? There's a company called Levels. Okay. Levels. Yeah. Yes. Order and you don't one. have to have type one diabetes. Okay. Too. Use it. I just think it's been fascinating. I've, My I mean, I've had. Uses it. You know, yeah. what? I'm gonna reach over. Okay, you can. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna reveal their name, confidentiality purposes, but I'll show y'all what it looks like. It's loading. Okay, look. You see all Amazing. those glucose spikes? Uh, wow. You text them right now. Oh no, I already did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Before this, I screenshotted <laughs> it and I said, you were like, "What, oh, what is happened? going on?" Oh, I gosh. love that. Okay. But then, like last week, he did great. Let me show you. I'm gonna have to tell him that I shouted him out on this podcast. <laughs> That's what okay, your blood sugar oh. should, should look be. Like. Okay, amazing. You see that? That's right, the right. little baby. Yeah. Okay. But you know, Girl Scout cookies are not gonna do you any Ooh, favors. Yeah. You see how erratic throughout that the is? day. That is really exactly. brilliant to know. <laughs> <laughs> to know throughout the day what one bad choice is going to do. We, we've got to do it. So I think that's going to be amazing. So it's not that he ate Girl Scout cookies all throughout. Right. He could have had it here and then it just compounded. And this speaks to what happens, just tying it into d- dental caries, so cavities. Yeah. Is, uh, they say like one sip of Coke drops a pH in your mouth for 20 minutes. Oh. Well, that's going to communicate with your gut. It's going to take much longer, which yep. changes the composition of your saliva. So Crazy. that one sip, and you're thinking somebody's sipping on this all day, every much day. more than one sip Absolutely. all day, every day in the teeth, in the gut, that communication back into the prodded for yep. the main saliva coming to your mouth it changes. Well, it's so, no different with glucose spikes. Once your body yeah. releases insulin, it goes into fat storing mode for six to eight hours Yeah. instead of oh, staying in a man. metabolically healthy state. So right. when, sometimes when people are struggling with weight loss, it's a blood sugar issue. Right. So Wouldn't it always be the, almost? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, technically, yeah. because then wow. each time you have a glucose spike, your body just goes into fat storing mode yes. each time, and you're resetting right. that six to eight hour clock. Yeah. Holy moly. That's yeah. awesome. We'll get you yeah. to the thousand pound club, honey. You're just going to need somebody that's smarter with this and, stuff. And than don't me. go home and tell your husband and say, oh, hey, he's going to get the thousand pound club. He's going to be like, oh, I do that like every day. Oh, like, Nick. Oh, well, he's saying, okay. <laughs> don't you, okay. Comparison is the thief of joy. There remember? you go. Yes. See, my husband is good. 315 pounds God. and is like pure muscle. Wow. You can, don't even try to compete with him. Yeah. He's so tall. I can't no, even I, I, like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like six, five. Yeah. I'm six, four. But I'm, I know, but you're I'm not 315 there. pounds. I'm almost, there. There. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Come on, Nick. Oh, he's laughing. Nick's no. laughing when he watches. Him. But my husband's really strong. He's yeah. very yeah. strong. Yeah. You feed him well, though, too. Y'all I are cracking sure me up the other night. Really well with those vegetables. But, but anyways, so I, we were we. I finally emptied the last two boxes after we moved back into our house yeah. um, the other morning. I was just feeling like I need to get something done, and so. I, and they had all these photos from like yeah. Kelly and I were we, we met in high school and so I know that's so crazy. Yeah, she was fifteen, I was sixteen, but we've never not been together. That's since. amazing. And uh, I found this photo of me surfing. I used to surf all the time, and I must have been a hundred and sixty five pounds at six foot three, six foot four. Oh, yeah. you were tiny when he was oh, in hockey. Was he weighed so one seventy five. But you know what year. though, my husband was the same way in high wow. school. 
He was. I wish I had the picture on my phone to show y'all. He was a basketball player, yeah. and he was so skinny. He was like 190 I pounds. It. I could do wow. it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 315 <laughs> pounds. Here I go. Oh, oh my freshman God. year in college. That's when we met. He put on 80 pounds wow. his freshman year Holy in college. Smokes. Yeah. Holy yeah, smokes. But when he first got to the NFL, I think he was like 320 pounds, but not like a healthy 320 pounds. Right. Now he walks around at 310, 315, but his body fat percentage is like... 10 oh, like oh my gosh insane. wow yes because you yes. help yes That's i amazing. help of course <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, i control she helps. All she's the, the reason she's okay. the reason okay she's <laughs> the reason i always say the lord first okay <laughs> yes it's oh. nick plus because of amy <laughs> well i try it my i mean he has seen he's entering into year 12 in the nfl oh, as a d lineman awesome. which is unheard of yeah, yeah. And I always tell people, I'm like, it really is a testament to how well he takes care of his body. Mm -hmm. yeah. As he's gotten older, the emphasis on recovery and really fueling your body properly um, with foods that are going to anti-inflame. Because his body is oh in a, gosh. a state of inflammation, I right? He's imagine. getting hit sure. all the time, right? So what can we do to combat that? How can we prevent injury? How can we reduce inflammation with what we're putting in our mouth? And that's the most important decision he mm -hmm. makes for his body. What is he putting in his mouth every single day? Yeah. So, oh, you know, beautiful. whatever's at the end of your fork matters. Absolutely. And oh my especially gosh. if you're a performance athlete. Yeah. And if you have the thousand pound weight club goal, <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't be eating no Cheerios. Well, <laughs> Ka Callie said racing here many times. I think this is, I'm just going to take this as a green light that we can try to go pro this year and next. So, um, you want to yeah. be a pro racer? More, more than anything. <laughs> you okay. kidding? You just, it's, I mean, we're old now, honey. We're doc, we're, uh, we're no. doctors. It's not gonna, okay. Let me just ages. tell you this. I don't even know the name of the race, but um, a church that we went to in Alabama, there's a pastor there and he races and mm -hmm. he's like in his fifties, but he's had like friends die in this race. Oh, there's like a gosh. race that they do in Colorado up a mountain. Yeah. Pikes Peak. That one. Yeah. yeah you will and never. he does it every year. <gasps> oh my gosh. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And it's, he's just he's over an there adrenaline like, junkie. He's a pastor. And I'm like, yeah. you oh do gosh. what? <laughs> he's, he's like, Jesus like, yeah. has me. It's the be okay. That, yeah. I'm like, he's like, yeah, I've had friends die. I said, you had friends die and you oh still do this? Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah no, you know it's what? crazy. No one lives forever. All right. Oh my gosh. If I have no to hear that. No one lives forever. <laughs> So. You know what? I hear that a lot in the health and wellness space. They're like, mm -hmm. well, Amy, well, I mean, yeah. gonna, well, everyone's no, going to die I one day. I don't believe you in You know what I tell part. people? <laughs> I'm not trying to add years to my life. I'm trying to add life to my years. That's exactly oh. right. Because I that, that's the difference between living to There's 90. There's the title of the podcast. Living to yeah. 90, but the last 30 were trash. Exactly. Oh, yeah. No, we, we, I would no live he's very motivated by and that. really nailed it all the right. way to Absolutely. Yeah. And I would definitely say that's a mind shift change. It's about adding life to it. That he's had because racing, he used to really fight years. nutrition and fight. Racing is also stressful. It is. Oh. No, I'm telling you, I wish I had your, a heart monitor on him when he was out there. I, I, I would bet love your to. Glucose would just be through the roof. Oh, I can't wait. We got to get it on you before Coda. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we Where can get that ordered. Where does from? Uh, I have a really, you know, it, it's like every every addiction, right? You started small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, uh, my, uh, like, did I, you I, come from a family of racers? No, no. 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 Oh, my, my, great, no. you just picked it up. Yep. My family like we literally have... does it. They like, look at me like I'm. You're crazy. Like I've got a third head, right? Yes, they're just I would like too. they're just yes. hanging out, and they're like, "What's wrong with you?" And I'm, yeah, yeah. It, my exact question. It started that my dad bought a BMW M5 and sold it to Kyle, and that's where it started. If we're being totally like, well, and then my well, and I was just driving it because we had a. Uh, I've been entrepreneurial like my whole life, and so sure. just, um, but one of the. One of my friends in dental school, his dad races and he races. Yeah, so that's and Vinny really Barada. where it got so sparked. Bad company corrupts yeah. good character, y'all. <laughs> and, and and he apologizes to Callie regularly. All the time. So I'm this like, you cost like, me so much money. Do you like, know that? This guy? And stress. Ten years. So I don't even care about the money. And now my I would kids are racing. So be thinking, was he going to get into a crash? 100%. Like, no. I mean, I he's can... in a full cage and a Hans device and all that stuff, so... I'll make him live and I'll yeah. feed him, you know, yeah. like this if I have to. No, that, that I'm might, not putting you down. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure she's been so mad at me sometimes oh that she gosh. wishes I had like some like temporary paralysis so she could just no, feed I me don't, whatever don't she wants. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I have no control. Lettuce. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It'll really make you angry. Right. That would stress kidding. me out. Yeah, it is. So. I'm so glad my husband's not into that. I can fix that. Oh, no, you cannot. He's a hunter. Mm. He can, can only pick that. one hobby because yeah. I have three <laughs> kids and we don't have time for anything else. Wait, how old are your kids? Almost eight. Perfect. Almost seven. We get both those started one. right away. And one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we're in racing? No, yes. she doesn't need, they don't have time. You know. Come on out. No. Yeah. Come on out. I'll have I'm to send you a picture of Benton racing. Right now. We're about to leave. We're about to move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> and we're leaving Houston. Well, it's really cool because there's racetracks everywhere. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
No. Uh, okay. This has been that. amazing. We are just a little bit past an hour, but I am so thankful you came on this podcast. Oh, I cannot tell awesome. you no, And tell people how me. they can find you because we all need you. No, you don't all need me. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can find me on social media, Instagram. That's okay. my jam. Yes. At Amy McDelia. Um, but then my business also has a handle. Yes. It's Restore Your Health. But at the end of Restore, there's a three. So okay. it's R E S T O R three okay and then your health because Perfect. we take a three-step approach to okay. restoring your health um and then my website amy and yeah and that's where you can find her swaps too they're yes, so worth our it. healthy Wait, swap yes. indexes you guys pass are, along. okay we will we will oh, oh, oh gosh. Gosh. <laughs> okay what is the pass so, along uh, Stephanie, i was telling people where to go to find the healthy swap index yes no i'm sorry i didn't interrupt it because <laughs> it's really important that's like a nice end to the show, it is, right? Yeah, it is. So yeah, I interrupt because it is, it is. No, I didn't go to interviewing school, by the way. So I just went to dental school. Who went to interviewing? Well, I, who school? knew she yeah. was a lawyer? So yeah. Well, now. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was really funny because Stephanie's past long question is: um, When was the last time you read a label, or mm-hmm. what do you look for in a label? And and so we asked that to the cardiologist. That we and last. what did he say? Well, we just released it. She's y'all have to got to listen to it. Um, he would. It was he, really interesting. He was embarrassed. He was embarrassed. Yeah. He'd never Good. looked. Yeah. He goes, I tell her I will now. Like, yeah. <laughs> but can we talk about that just for like yes. two seconds? See, that's why I did this. <laughs> I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you did it. Because I, I really do. think that's where we're yeah. missing right. it in medical school. Oh, yeah. We had one nutrition class. Yes. Right. And all of my friends who are yeah. like in medical school or residency or mm-hmm. like new doctors. Couple classes. It, yeah. No. Maybe right. 10 hours. Maybe. Right. Maybe. Oh, I would say three. <laughs> three hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I was being generous with the 10. Yeah. And- that is never discussed. We have client after client yep. after client. Steph had a client who was dealing with fertility issues. And she was like, there was never one discussion about what I could have done dietarily to That's support so my hormones and right. fertility. And she was about to spend $40,000 for IVF. IVF process, right. hired us. And she's like, Almost 30 weeks pregnant Oh, now. my gosh. That's amazing. That's, awesome. that's amazing. T- and it happens time and time yeah, again. Yeah. It's hard, yeah. And I'm like, the doctors are missing it. Yeah. And I, I mean, again, I don't fault them. Mm-hmm. They're only relaying what they were taught in school. Of course. Right? right. And what, what are you taught in school, in medical school? It's here's the ailment. Here's the drug. Right, exactly. Yeah. But it's and, and the, it's not prevention. It's medicine. Not prevention. But also, it's reactionary. Right. And like to epitomize that, there's if you put someone in a room and you say, close your eyes, I'm gonna give you instructions. When you open your eyes, I want you to look around and look for four red things. And you turn around and you look and okay, stop name those four red things. And they sell you four red things, and then you ask them, name me four blue things. And like, uh, I wasn't looking for blue things. Yeah. Correct. If you're not looking so, correct, right. that's right. It's a big difference. Right. And I feel like one with um Oh my gosh. Uh, the cardiologist that we were, we talked to a couple weeks ago. Dr. Paul Wynn. Uh, Paul Wynn. Yeah. And he's 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 a unicorn in the sense that he sees that there is that there's something else going on. Yes. Right. And so he's he's awesome and he's jumped into this airway side and he sees how dentistry can really it's all help. connected. Yeah, I'll send it to you. You'll you'll enjoy him. It's but. all connected. But it, it is just it's just wild to me. But that's why a lot of people come to us because we take a preventative right. approach. Right. And we give people hope, right? Yeah. Same yeah. with the pediatric treatments. It's I'm like, like if we can prevent them from ever being the adult with sleep apnea, then that yes. is my purpose. Exactly. If we so didn't have exactly. snoring kids, we wouldn't have, wouldn't have snoring adults. That's all right. right. All right. So the oh pass gosh, long question. What did he ask? Okay. Did oh you study no, for I'm this? nervous. No. <laughs> all right. Um and I, I think I already know the answer to this, but uh, after, how do you, do you want to ask this? How, in what context? Mm. So he he asked, are people are you willing to be more medically astute? And we so obviously with you, yes. yes. But just his in when you when you listen to that podcast episode, it's he was telling us, why aren't you reading the American Academy of Cardiology Guidelines? Why aren't you checking our websites? Check us that we should be doing this, mm-hmm. this or that, and we're not. Yep. And so his question is, are you in, open to being more medically astute? Absolutely. <laughs> and everyone should be. I tell people to check me. Yeah. I'm like, there's got to be checks and balances. Yep. We, we have to stop blindly trusting I know. the it's science. So it's so true. And, and, and oh what's gosh. really sad, I don't know if y'all saw the articles that came out that they've had to retract over 10,000 medical studies and journals because of Poor like science. fraud. Oh, yes. Geez. Yes. Yeah. So like even the medical literature, people are not really yeah. trusting anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, check the dollars. Check it. 
Mm-hmm. You have to check it. Who's the source? Who's funding the study? Mm-hmm. Right. For sure. But most people don't want to put in that work. Yeah. Well, we're busy and we we're busy. And we're right? moms. But and maybe don't we just, know. you, know, you got to advocate for yourself oh, for in sure. the health arena. Absolutely. You can't just take an answer. Like go seek a second opinion. Absolutely. Do your oh own my research. Gosh. Like don't Absolutely. just, because one doctor told yeah. you this, take it as truth and knowledge and that there's no other possible option. Absolutely. There's almost always another option. Like you suddenly have 10 cavities. Right. Maybe. Okay. That happened to a girlfriend of mine in law school. <laughs> she's like, I have a dentist appointment. I'm like, okay. Like I've never had a cavity by sure. the way. Yeah. And she comes, she's like, I had nine fillings. I said, wait, what? Yeah. He's like, yeah, they said I had like nine cavities. I'm like, you didn't seek a second opinion. Yeah. I know. It's oh, so we, hard. We For have, me, I that's so like a dentist who's just, that kind of stuff. It's money. Yeah, it's horrible. Well, we get it's referrals money. from all the cor- corporate we're, dentistry. We're kind of corporate. We're family corporate, right? Yeah. Where we've got business going on. But then the real corporate stuff where they've never met the owner, never will. And that's Drill like, and fill. Oh yeah, gosh, absolutely. Whatever they can put in a treatment plan. And as they expand these treatment plans with all these like medication. Like the gum disease treatments. And all this oh other my stuff. gosh. Like, yeah. Oh, they, on. there was one dentist in Birmingham. I think it was either before, right before COVID or during COVID. And Nick hadn't had a cleaning in a long time. She was like, you have six cavities and you have gum diseases. I said, okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah, we'll call you back. Yeah. I'm not calling you oh back. Oh, my gosh. You don't have gum disease. No. Like, what are oh you talking my about? Gosh. And had already had x-rays, like, within a year. And she was like, I still want to get them. No. I said, no, he doesn't need them. She's I feel like, like, like I was very vocal for, about that when I met you. I was like, we won't oh, charge absolutely. for the insurance. And I was saying no. And Nick's like, it's fine. Gets it. Still charges our insurance. Oh my gosh. I'm like, oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. I told you, yeah. Nick. I'm like, well, I, I was glad we won him over because somebody. I'm like, you're just welcome here whenever. <laughs> yeah, he was so excited when you told him he didn't have a cavity because no. most dentists just tell him. Now, he does he does need some work though. Um, oh, oh, I'll see you Monday. No, <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I just I don't blindly trust anything and yeah, I question sure. everything. We have to now, unfortunately, it's the world we live in. So what is your pass along question going to be to the next Gosh, podcast? I, I have no idea. Y'all are putting me on the spot. I know. We do it to everybody. I think that the next person, what do you do to mitigate stress? Ooh, we talked a lot about stress today, guys. Yeah. yeah. And we didn't even get into <laughs> like Kyle. all the tips and tricks of sleep. I know. There was so much more we could have talked mm-hmm. about. Well, we'll just have to do it again. Yeah, again. we'll do it again. <laughs> We'll do it again. We keep saying we that do, on Instagram. I do one with you and Stephanie, and oh. I'll just I'll just leave the building. <laughs> no, you can what? you can be here. <laughs> so. You can be here. Truly, it. I wish it's we could so relay incredible. all you guys of are the so things powerful. that like our clients and students have been able to reverse. Right. From simple, I'm um, simple changes. Although they seem hard because people are like well, I don't want to give this up and I don't want right. to give that up. But yeah. Oh, it's a mental battle. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, I think it's the same thing, thing with the adult mm-hmm. ortho that we do or Callie does for her airway patients to get expansion and help them have maybe a solution that isn't only working when it's in your mouth. Yeah. And it actually isn't easy. Yeah. And so we, we're talking about a lifestyle change and yep. you know, you can make uh, So like what I brought up to Stephanie and I can't remember if she said it, but f- after or before, I don't think it got recorded. Um, but it was like, I just don't have time. She's like, like I rolled me. And he's like, oh, you don't have time to just live longer and live better? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I don't. And I was like, <laughs> I nah. loved it. I was like, thank you. All right. Well, I'm never saying that again. Yeah. So. It, it's an excuse. Yeah. It's all about what you prioritize, right? right. Mm-hmm. If it you is. don't prioritize your health, you're not going to make time for it. If you do prioritize your health, you'll make time for it because we make time for the things that we care 100% about. 100% we do. Yeah. And so, so you got to care about you yourself more than the business. It, <laughs> if you don't make time for it, you don't care about it. Uh, right, oh my gosh. You care I about your wife, it. right? You yeah. make time for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you care yeah. about your kids, you make time for them. Yeah. If you care about your health, you'll make time for it too. But it's all a mindset thing. 100%. And also what it's worth to you, right? So yep. for me, my health is worth more to me than going and eating fast food, which I don't even think it tastes good because it doesn't taste like real food Of course food it doesn't. It's a means to an end half the time. I think it tastes disgusting, yeah, right. but like, were the Girl Scout cookies worth it? Is it like, are these things really this worth it? This poor guy in the Girl Scout. Depends, co- yeah. depends on the cookie, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it depends on the cookie. Yeah, but I, you know what I tell people? You can choose to pay for your health now or be forced oh to my pay gosh. for your illness later, mm-hmm. period. 
and the latter is way more expensive. What? You just keep eyeballing Obviously, me every me time. Me too. You... It's, it's just good to hear it. I'm not eyeballing you. You're it not is, in trouble. But like, it is true, It though. is so like, good to hear it. You can choose to pay for your health now. Like, right. You know, oh, we'd say that with preventive dentistry, pay, too. hey, I'm not yeah. talking just about finances. No. Like, pay with your time and, and sacrificing certain things for your yeah. health. Or you're going to end up forced to pay for your illness later. Yeah. Hospital visits, mm-hmm. doctor visits, prescription medications, quality of life. Right. And we and see that, that all the time in our patients. So, I mean, it's no different for you two. The number of times that, yeah, that we've had, I've said that, you know, this is why we are working out with an incredible trainer and he's taking care of yep. us. And like, I mean, my goal was to be able to do pull-ups and I can do pull-ups and that's right. like, but it's, it, we're doing that so that we're healthier, older people. Correct. I'm like, if there was ever any reason to, to be like, paying for this and doing it it's so that we age healthier that's kind of our medical insurance absolutely <laughs> food and it, exercise it, it's preventative. and sleep yeah all yes. the things that she listed guys is so Those important and if you're a small business owner you're in dentistry i know it, it has times where it really really sucks so well then, right. i mean that's everybody in there now would you like to plug your swaps that i interrupted was that Oh, no, how to buy the swaps? Yeah, yeah, we kind of did oh, it. Yeah, okay. you're late to well, the party. They are awesome, yeah. by the way. You can edit this out. He and he's only seen to. the kid ones. <laughs> so oh, like, yeah. I need to send you the master. Yeah. The master? The master has the like healthy eating, healthy home. Those are adult. And then the healthy kids is just for the okay. kids. Yeah. And then there's supplement brands in there, too. Awesome. awesome. And then, I mean, there's mom if you're planning on having another child. Yeah. Nope. No, we're all nope. done. Oh, <laughs> Someone so else is, though. So. <laughs> no, we're so happy with our family. It's yeah, yeah. such a blessing. Same. So. Oh, I'm three. That's it. Mm-hmm. No. Three and done. <laughs> yeah. And my last one was 10 pounds, six ounces. So we're oh, 10 pounds, done. six. Did you have gestational diabetes? I did not. Isn't that impressive? I really That's do take care of, of myself, crazy. but I was so big. Most of the time when you have babies that big, there's just, I was on steroids. Cause we'd had, we'd had a, um, my, our daughter was preemie. So he oh. preventatively put me on steroids, which oh, I now, see. I mean, I don't know, whatever. It's fine. But she was like, preemie, but she's still born like five pounds. She's five pounds, 15, 15 ounces. She's a, she a, and she is a carbon copy of Kyle. Well, 35 weeks. So from like uh, a lung development like, standpoint. Like from a weight standpoint, yeah. that's I was fine. like, y'all should. And then when Walker was born and I'd been on steroids the whole pregnancy, I was like, dude, he came out freaking Popeye. The kid had three <laughs> eyelids. Huge. He was huge. huge. And I'm like, just get him out of me. No, I w- yeah, I would have been, the, yeah. Yeah. My son, or sec- first son, not second. I have two boys, one girl. Yeah. And it's construction <laughs> next door, I think. I like, wait, oh, no. We should probably end this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on. Of I'm course. so oh, honored to know you and have you as a friend. No, and thanks for coming I back all the way to Texas to do this. Absolutely. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. No, thanks All right. for having me, guys. All right. Thank you, Amy. Bye, guys.